Hi everyone and welcome back to Granny's Gum Video. Today it's going to be a very talkative video, okay? So I have here Bazooka, the original. Throwback original Bazooka bubblegum. So I already did a Bazooka bubblegum, uh, I think five, six months ago. And it was in a little pack. But this is the original with the tattoo. Oh, not the tattoo, the comics in each piece of gum. So let me get started. And these are 20 calories each. Maybe I should chew two or three at once, right? We'll see. So today is going to be a bubblegum blowing movie. Is it a movie or a series? A review or reaction to the movie Squid Game. I've been eating um, squid in the past couple of videos. Well, one video and I have the Dalgona video. So this is a pink gum, and I'm going to get started now because it will take a while. And I remember Bazooka's hard gum. <laughs> Here's the comic. Bazooka Joe. So, you guys read, okay? Is it funny? So today, I'm going to show you how to make dakji. Those of you who watched um, Squid Game, I don't know what all the big fuss is about, but I heard that it was number one in the world right now. And it made Netflix one billion dollars just in that one movie. The, 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 the the best movie or the top movie in the world right now. What? So I'm hearing all this. So I had to go check it out. And it looked like it's a Korean series. And it didn't look interesting to me. But because of all the craziness that's going around, I had to see for myself. And the first episode that I saw it was crazy red light green light remember that game it's a bunch of people who are in debt or they're in trouble they're in need of money they they get chosen or, and they get to go on this they go on this island and it's scary and they play 456 participants are in there they play green light, red light. And in Korean, it's Mugunga. That spooky tone. Mugunga kochi piyosunida. It's like, it's literally translated, it's not green light, red light. It means Mugunga is a flower. And it means the Mugunga flower has blossomed. That's what it means. So, moving out the flower. Let me see what the flower is in English. I can't find the 
translation, but it's a flower. And it means Mukunga flower. And it just means Mukunga flower has blossomed. But in America, we say green light, red light. And the people that move after Mukunga Gochi Piosumida is said if they move, they all get shot and killed. I was, I was like shocked. And as the games went on, they were playing the childhood games that I played. They played many of the games that I grew up playing. Each time you lose, you get shot. And I was thinking, this is a stupid movie. So much violence and... And I watched the whole, I think, nine episodes. And it wasn't until the last episode that I realized, ah, there's a message. And I will share that message. And I thought, I enjoyed the last video because there's a message. And I'm going to share with you what I took from it. But not right now. <laughs> so the participants are chosen or given the opportunity to participate in this game by this one man, the recruiter. And he would approach people that are in dire need of money, who would be desperate enough to play such a game. And um, I think the winning prize amount was $38 million or so in US dollars. And he would offer them to play takchi. Takchi is a Korean, it's made of paper. It's a little squarish game piece that we make. And what you do is you get one, your opponent gets one. You lay it down on the ground. And you have to hit it and flip the opponent's takchi, you know, the other, the opposite side. Flip it over. And then you take that and that's yours. So I'm going to show you how to make it. Now when Granny was little, nine years old, nine, ten, Granny used to make these dakjis out of plain paper and would play outside with the kids and win big shopping bags, bag full of these dakshis. <laughs> and they were fun. And for those kids that didn't know how to make them, <laughs> this granny used to sell them for 10 cents. <laughs> but today, I will give you a free lesson on how to make them. <laughs> and I have a big bag of dakshis right now in the house. Because I used to have the kids play them. I used to give them 10 each and whoever and and have them partner up and whoever had whoever won the other person's 10 takjis I would give them a prize money a reward so let me show you how it's done now this is the typical way that I would make it you fold a piece of paper construction paper or uh, old calendar you know old calendars they they were great because they're hard and the thicker and harder and heavier the dakjis are, they flip better. Fold it in half the long way. And if you have newspapers or 
Oh, I used to make big newspaper ones about this big, giant. And they would make such loud noises. And you fold again. Now, there are several types of uh, dakjis, and I'm going to show you the few. But this is the basic way that I used to make them. And then what you do is you fold. I'm just going to show you. I don't even know how to describe, you know. Okay, you fold like that. <laughs> Leaving that amount because you need to fold this as well. Fold it like this. And then you fold this. It's not going to be perfect because I need a sturdy table to put this down on. Fold it like that. And you make this flap right here. And then you just fold that over. And then you turn it this way. And you fold this. And flap it over. It's not that pretty. And then you make this flap. Fold. And just stick it in the... Cut it in like that. There you have a dakji. And this is so fun. You don't need to spend tons of money. You know, the kids these days, they only play um, video games. These are so fun. You get one. And in um, Squid Game, they have red and blue. So I'm going to make another red one. This time, I will make them... I will make it in a different way this time. Using two separate sheets. And I think this is how the Squid Game... You know, in the movie series, uh, they made it this way. So you'll need to cut this in half. I forgot this was a bubblegum video. Let me blow bubble. And you fold this in half. This is a stiffer construction paper, so this is this is this will be thicker than this one. Do the same for this. Fold it in half. Put it like a cross. And then you make a flap. Fold the flap like this. You do this and you do that, okay? And then just fold like that and do that for all the corners. This is prettier because it, everything is symmetrical. And then the last flap. And then you um, stick this inside. There you have it. This is folding at the 
long way and just using you know just a one piece to make using two pieces to make this should I do my thumbnail To show you how to make twins, okay? Let's say you want to make one sided blue, one sided red. What you would do is you would take this take one part out just use this and mix match the color this is a little wider so I'm gonna have to trim this just making sure I have my mic on sometimes I forget mix and match the colors it's still too wide I could have pre-cut all these into symmetrical pieces but I just like to do everything improv you know because it stresses me out to have to prepare everything and so I just bring all my goods and I just press the record button and I just go less stressful that way and whatever happens happens by now you guys know I don't do perfect videos it's just raw okay so you fold that flap and then fold the blue and then fold the red and if it's too extra, you just cut it out. And you tuck it inside. I remember staying outside late until it got dark playing these. So there you have it. And when we played... It was good to have a double-sided, like a twin. And the thicker and harder they are, you know, they're able to um, turn over the other person's dakchi. So what we used to do, we used to make twins. I don't know if I can remember. Anyway, how did we make it? I'll try to figure it out while I'm chewing gum. Bazooka gum 
in the beginning it's very very hard like but it gets softer So with this blue one, I'm going to make a twin, okay? One blue sided and one red. So we fold it in half, lengthwise. And you leave the original takji alone. the one, um, the single sheet duck sheet. You leave it alone. What you do is you take the other piece and you tuck it inside the back of the original duck sheet. Tuck it inside. And then you make the dakji on this side. Leave enough space so you could make a flap on this one. And you fold. You make this flap. Again, it's not perfect because I need a hard, you know, I need a table where I can press down and make it neatly, but I'm trying to show you guys. This will be the ugly stakji I, I will be making, but you get the picture. Fold. And you get this end. can always go back and redo. <laughs> In Granny's world, there's always redo, okay? There's no perfection. Don't stress yourself out like that. Okay. So, the game, they play this. And if you win, uh, the recruiter, the Squid Game recruiter, would give you, a, I think, $100 each time you flipped his and won. And if you lose, then I think that's when you punched him, right? <laughs> Such violence. The eight episodes that I was watching, I was like in horror. I was in shock because people are just getting killed left and right if they didn't win the game. All the disqualified people, they would just get shot. It's not so pretty, but so here one red on the other side. It's and if I played these two, this would definitely flip over this one because it's thicker. But you don't want it too thick high because if it is, then it's easy to turn over. So what we would do is just flatten it. We would stomp on it, sit on it, and just make it thick but flat. Do you get it? <laughs> thick but flat. See how thin and wind, what is it, thin and weak this is? This is much thicker and if I flatten it, it'll be much better. So, you can make a bunch of these and then play and then win the other person's, win all of theirs. And then they would make more and this is how I would end up with like shopping bag full of, you know, these stuffies. So there you go. So after all these games, all these games are over. People are just dying. They're playing tug of war. And then the losing team, they just fall to their death. I was like, this is the dumbest, most horrific movie I've ever seen. And I don't like to watch, you know, violent movies or scary movies. I just don't want to torture my soul that way. 
why fill things in with you know negative bad things and get exposed and be reminded of that scene I just don't like that but this was just going so crazy all over the world it's like num the number one series right now in the whole world and I just thought it was ridiculous how just deaths were happening but in the very last episode the moral of the story is this man old man he had all that he could ever want in this world money you know he had all this wealth he's the one that decided to start this game because he got bored and he explains to the main character which I don't know their names explains to him when the main character asked why did you create such a horrific game it's a, and he said it's because it's going to be a spoiler so those of you who have not watched this and you don't want to hear this what the end you don't have to listen to this but he says because he got bored he had all the money in the world he spent everything you know on whatever he wanted and he got bored so he played with desperate people's lives people who needed money so badly and the main character he was he was a poor man and he won the money I think 39 38 million dollars he won it but he didn't spend it and he still lived a poor life and he had the money in his account and I'm thinking I think it's because he thought about all the deaths because every time people died the money would increase the you know the winning pot and I think he felt guilt because that money was you know the cost of the lives many precious human lives and this main character is a you know pretty nice guy and he felt you know this is a good snapping gum so this old guy he got bored of his wealthy life he did everything and anything he wanted and he still not was not satisfied he had cancer and on his deathbed he was you know laying down on his deathbed and the main character came in after winning the pot and when he asked him that he said it was because he was bored and on the other hand the winner he was the poor man he could have used all that money he could have done so much with that money but he couldn't use it so what I got out of this movie was that money is not the issue your happiness does not depend on how much money you have or how much you don't have I think it's your perspective in life and all it also goes to show you that money can't buy you happiness not at all and when you have money you think you have all this power and you use your money to control people and in the Bible it says money is the root of all evil right <laughs> so if you use your money wisely it can benefit you it can be really good for you but if you don't use your money wisely and you spend it on worthless things or harming people it's it's just nobody was satisfied the old man was not satisfied the poor man who won the money was not satisfied and it got to and it got me to thinking I think this a movie shows us that there is no happiness there is no 100% happiness even if you have all the money in the world there's just no satisfying the the soul the person you know everything is useless so it's all about perspective how you see life you can still be happy and be poor you can be miserable being rich too so don't depend your happiness on finances on what you have your possessions your materialistic things it's all about your attitude you just have to live a happy life you have to have that positive outlook on life This is a good game. What you do is you put yours down, the opponent, 
hits you know you have to hit it not like not on top of it but maybe I don't know you just have to hit it so that this flips over and then you take theirs and then you keep going until until you miss and then it's the other person's turn so make these these are cheap they're basically free just take you know all the garbage mail that you get in the mail and use all that play this game as a family you know time together family time I'm gonna snap some gum. This feels like silly putty. You know how silly putty just breaks apart? <laughs> it's rubber. So I was kind of disappointed in as why this movie was so, you know, so popular until the end. It just got me to thinking about life and you have to really think about life would you risk your life playing a game just for money I would not even and these people would go back and play again I don't know good thing this is fake although I heard on TikTok that there's a school where kids are playing green light red light and if you move, other people get to punch you, and the school's not even sp st uh, the school's not even stopping them from playing this game. What what is this world coming to? A lot of talking today. I would not watch movies like this. This is not my normal thing. It was just so going viral and it was just so crazy. I had to see what it was all about. And mm, Life is worth more than that. And it gets um, you to think about life after death. And you know what I talk about when I talk about life after death? Yes, there's heaven and hell. And this movie proved once again that uh, that human beings are never satisfied. We are never satisfied. Ask the filthy rich people. Ask if they are satisfied. They're not satisfied. They want more money. True happiness can be found only within yourselves when you are connected with God. And He gives you the peace and the joy and the comfort. And He just satisfies your every need. That's where true joy comes from. And you don't need to have everything in life, you know. You don't have to have all the materialistic things. They will not bring you joy, happiness. Life is too precious. Souls are too precious, you know. Bazooka gum is always good. Bubbles. So try these games by yourselves and your family and friends. Get off of your electronics, you know, do something fun. Go out, walk, move, do something physical. Keep your bodies healthy. Food channels, please go exercise. 
exercise as much as you eat okay so if you don't want to exercise too much downsize your portions and if you want to eat a lot do hours of exercise okay thank you for staying I know I did a lot of talking today but I had to today and God bless you And think about the meaning of life. What is life? We will see you in the next. God bless you and peace.